Guys, you've been living here for two months. I mean, how many more pictures do you need of that? Check it out, Mom. Now, every time you open your phone, you'll see Uncle Freddy scratching his butt. Oh, very nice. Okay, you can get dressed now. We'll call you. Oh, Freddy, Freddy, be careful with that coat. It's the last thing your brother gave me before he died. Well, not that exact coat. The one he gave me, I exchanged for a gift certificate, which I cashed in for a trip to Vegas, but I really like that coat. <laughs> Here, put on your robe. What are you doing with my robe? This is the man's robe. Women, wear your women things. I'll wear the man things. And Grandma, you keep wearing that little number. Este numerito, eh? Ha pasado por tres esposos, cuatro partos, un incendio y un huracán. Y solo me costó tres dólares. Mom, I'm going to meet some friends at the mall. Peace out. Uh, nuh -uh. Not till you change your top. And I'm listen, Uncle Freddy, do you think this looks slutty? Mom says I can't show my bra strap. Simple. Lose the bra. <laughs> um, you know, she tried that. I told her to go peek at Grandma in the shower sometime. Then when she stops crying, come back and talk to me. Don't do it, Zoe. I peeked once when I was little. Looked like she had four arms. <laughs> go see what I should got. We'll talk to your mom. Sophia, you gotta give the kid a break. She's just been through a divorce. If you're not gonna let her drink, at least let her be a little slutty. She's 13. Look, all her friends are rocking the bra strap. Don't make her be a dork like you were. Hey. Deja tu hermana tranquila, ella es buena madre. Yeah, you tell him, Grandma. Él los mantiene, así que no me logres nada aquí. I don't understand a word she's saying, but it seems like the hitting's coming my way. I'm off to work. Hola, Marinos. In here, Chris. Freddy, you're going to love this. Guess who I just saw at the gym? Tammy's boyfriend. Crying like a little girl. She just broke up with him. That's great. It's about time she broke up with that self-obsessed jerk. Oh, 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 hey, hey. Check out this picture of my butt. <laughs> I know she's a hot blonde, totally your type, but you can't date Tammy. It's the golden rule. You don't date people you work with. That is not the golden rule. The golden rule is do unto others and whatever, and there's something else after that. <laughs> you're the one in med school. You're supposed to be smart. I'm serious. You're one of the best-known chefs in Chicago. You shouldn't be dating your hostess. You could jeopardize everything you've worked for. Relax, Sophie. I'm a big boy now. I know the right thing to do. What's the right thing to do? <laughs> I want Tammy so bad. What would you do if Sophia wasn't here? I'd ask her out. Then do it. You move these women into your house and they're changing your entire life. They've already taken your office and your game room. They must be stopped. <laughs> they haven't taken everything. I still have my wine room and my pool table. <laughs> okay, combo, side pocket. I'm still the king. This is still my castle. Look, when my brother died, I realized I lost contact with everybody I loved. Now that they're all here, I feel like I have a family again. So you're saying it's perfect? No, it's killing me. <laughs> now I can't do all the fun, stupid stuff because my big sister's all over me. You know what? I'm gonna ask Tammy out. I mean, what kind of a life am I living if I can't follow my heart? <laughs> you should follow your heart. To wherever they're keeping your manhood. <laughs> turning you into a chick. <laughs> yeah? Well, can a chick do this? <laughs> oh. You didn't call any of that. <laughs> you you want to break the rest of the sticks, or should we move the table across the hall to my place? We'll move it, but give me a second. I kind of hurt myself. <laughs>
so hot in that dress. How you doing? <laughs> You're gonna be a great doctor. Wow. Good looking and rich. <laughs> Two out of three. <laughs> what, what's the third thing? Okay, the fact that you can't figure it out is a clue. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't get that. Dude, I just hit on your sister. She gave me a riddle. Get lost seems like a riddle to you, but it's not. Karen, I heard you broke up with your boyfriend. I'm really sorry. No, you're not. You're gonna ask me out. You're good. <laughs> Where am I taking you? I don't know, but it has to be tonight. Otherwise, I have midterms in the night shift for the next couple weeks. Mmm, tonight. Well, I was gonna scrapbook, but this is the only time you have free. Pick me up at nine. Again, sorry about the boyfriend. Hey there. I saw you with Tammy. She seemed pretty happy about whatever you two were talking about. I told her a joke. The one about the snooping older sister who didn't trust her younger brother and got killed. By curiosity, the cat. Listen, I came by to say I'm sorry. I can't watch Zoe this weekend. Well, why not? I'm moving to Mexico for a year. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's kind of huge. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I rented out my house. I'm taking a sabbatical from work. So, thanks for everything. All right, from Cabo. Oh, I'm just going to take this to go. I'm parked in a handicapped spot. <laughs> oh, great. Now I don't have anybody to watch Zoe this weekend. I hate to ask, but can you do it? This weekend, like tonight. I promised Grandma I'd take her to the Indian Bingo Palace in Des Moines. Why can't she play with our Indians here in Chicago? They're nice. Yeah, but they don't have triple jackpot wigwam Sunday. And I guess I'm watching Zoe. Ah, uh, you are the best. Chris. It's not gonna work out with me and Tammy tonight. How about you come over to my place? We'll play some cards, smoke some cigars. What do you say? Sounds good. Good. I may have to leave for like six hours, but Zoe will keep you company. <laughs> oh, hey. In poker, that's called a flush. That's good. Raise them. <laughs> I'm up 300 bucks because I don't scare people out of the pots. We. Oui. We are up 300 bucks. We're a team. It's my credit card. Go play in the living room. You're distracting me. Oh. Chris? Hey, what are you doing here so late? You first. I thought you guys were spending the night in Des Moines. Well, Grandma put a curse on the bingo collar, and they kicked us out. Esos indios tramposos! Where's Freddy? Chris, check it out! I just blocked the nut flush! <laughs> Zoe, what are you doing up? It's one o'clock in the morning. Are you playing online poker? Where's your uncle? Uh, Chris? <sighs> I'm not gonna lie to you, Sophie. You heard me. <laughs> oh, all right, uh, I'll get rid of Chris. Then we'll get some wine and listen to music, but we have to keep our voices down because my niece is asleep. Change of plans, there's gonna be a lot of yelling. I 
can't believe you left Zoe with Chris so you could go on a date. Okay, hang on. I can explain this. Tammy, can you give us a minute? There's probably some coffee on in the kitchen. It's no big deal. Zoe loves hanging out with Chris. I don't mind her being with Chris as long as there's an adult present. <laughs> Why did you lie to me? Because I knew you'd give me crap for going out with Tammy. Necesito un come maldad. Porque estas peleas traen muy malos, malos aquí. Take it down. You're gonna freak Tammy out. ¿Sabes? Tú eres igualito a tu abuelo. ¿Por qué? Se, uh, se acostó con la mitad de San Juan. Papo, he was in a wheelchair. Por favor, solo lo usaba para descansar sus caderas. Look what you started, Sophie. You can't tell me who I can and can't date. You haven't changed since high school. You never think anything through, and you always pick girls who can get you in trouble. You are inveterate. That's not the point, and maybe not even a word. <laughs> Freddy, look, what if it ends badly? You could end up getting this girl fired. They're not going to fire her. She's a great hostess. Oh, come on. Yesterday, I saw her try to put a dwarf in a high chair. One mistake. And just so you know, the way little Tony drinks, he needs to be strapped in. But let's say Tammy is an idiot. It doesn't matter. I could date a babbling monkey if I want. It's none of your business. An idiot? Why, because I'm blonde? I have a 3.7 GPA. Tammy, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I'm working on my master's in hospitality and management. I'd like to see a monkey run a hotel. You're right. I saw that in a movie once. It was really bad. <laughs> Come on, let me drive you home. I'll take a cab. You are such a jerk. You know, at least with the bad guys, you see it coming. <sighs> well, you wanted to do something nice for me for taking you in? Congratulations, you did it. No, no, no. You screwed up. Don't blame me. Hey, if your life hadn't have blown up, you wouldn't be here sticking your nose in my business, and none of this would have happened. Well, that's easy to take care of. Zoe and I will be out in a week. And you're a kippy grandma. <laughs> Sophia! Tammy, uh, Allison, you're supposed to be on a plane to Mexico. What happened? The bank canceled my credit cards, repoed my car, foreclosed on my house. So I'm going to take a bath. Can I borrow your toaster? <laughs> How did they foreclose on your house? You said you were renting it out. I lied, okay? I haven't been to work since Joe died. <laughs> You go through all your money in six months. I was filling a very painful void in my life at Bloomingdale's. I need fire. Wait, uh, calm down. It's going to be all right. No, 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 it is not going to be all right. For the past week, I have been so depressed, I have barely left my house. The doctor has me so pumped full of drugs, my street value went up. Okay, let's sit down for a second. <laughs> You gotta stop. <laughs> now, most of the women I've talked to tonight have run out screaming, but I'm gonna give this a shot. First, I should have paid closer attention to you after my brother died to make sure you were doing all right. But in my defense, being around you is like living in a nightmare. You sounded just like Joe when you said that. <laughs> Okay, okay, here's the plan. We're gonna get you on your feet and back to work. In the meantime, God help me, you move in here. Freddie, that's sweet. But I don't think I could live with these women. They're kind of needy. <laughs> You're staying. When my mother moved to Florida, you and Joe let me sleep on your couch so I could go to culinary school. You were there for me. You even gave me those little, uh, caffeine pills when I was exhausted during finals. <laughs> you 
You're so cute. No, that was speed. <laughs> Yo, Chris, I found the perfect thing to replace the pool table in the wine room. A hard drinking sister-in-law. Shh. There's a girl here. I'm sorry, I'm getting out of here. I'm just glad last night worked out for one of us. Tammy misunderstood something I said and ran out all upset. Uh, I know if I could just talk to her, we could work this out. <laughs> so, Tammy, you want to get back together? I think we have something really special here. <laughs> Freddie, please, don't make me get a restraining order. Thanks, Chris. You are great. Okay. It's clear now you don't date someone from work. I didn't know that because I don't work. But we won't make this mistake again. Will we? I am so tired of my charm getting you laid. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Looking for a place. No, 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 you're not. Look. I made a huge mistake letting Chris watch Zoe. From now on, if I say I'm watching her, I'm watching her. Especially if you have to take Grandma to play bingo again. Well, we won't be taking Grandma gambling for a while. She's been blacklisted by the entire Meskwaki nation. And about Tammy? She called and wanted to get back together, but I told her, forget it. And no woman. <laughs> is worth you and me fighting. Hey, I'm worried. You're not gonna get Tammy fired because I had sex with her last night, are you? <laughs> not at all. Thanks again, Chris. Bye. Oh, you are so busted. Why can't you just admit I'm right? Dating the wrong girl is way worse when it's somebody you work with. She wasn't the wrong girl. She was a nice girl who just got upset with me, went over to my best friend's apartment and had sex with him. All right, you're not totally wrong. <laughs> Thank you. Look, Zoe and I weren't really going to leave. These aren't the classifieds or the obituaries. Grandma makes me highlight her enemies. <laughs> So we're good? Yeah. But I don't want to go through this again. So we're going to have to set up some ground rules. Now, I'm the older sister, so as long as I'm living under your roof, you'll do what I say. <laughs> That's not how it goes. I know it's your house, but you got to let me contribute something. Let me be bossy. I'm good at that. <laughs> and you need it. No, I don't. Remember how you always used to tell me not to jump my ski board off the roof? Mm -hmm. Well, if I hadn't broke both my ankles, I wouldn't have spent that summer cooking with Grandma, and I wouldn't be a chef. Stupid works for me. <laughs> so you're never going to listen? Don't say never. I am capable of changing, because I am not confirmed in a habit or firmly established in a chronic behavior typified by long persistence. See, habitual. Oh. You looked up inveterate, didn't you? Allegedly. <laughs> okay, and Allison, it's down to you and Uncle Freddy. This is for the game. All right, Allison. You'll be sculpting a thing. Okay. You have 30 seconds. And Grandma's your new partner. Grandma? I'm the... Una caja, no. Un rectángulo. Eh, hongos. Árboles. Una casa. I think she's getting close. <laughs> Gente. Clavos. Pollos. Did she say Stonehenge? Stonehenge! Stonehenge! <laughs> you gave her the answer. You cheated. We win. No. You guys set me up. You gave me Stonehenge and Maria from West Side Story. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Me too. Good night. Good night.
are you doing, Zoe? My mom snores, so I'm gonna start sleeping on the couch. Uh, we were gonna watch a movie, and sometimes I have dates over. Too bad. <laughs> okay. All right, fine. But, uh, there's something you should know. <sighs> Last night, before I went to bed, I came out here. And your Uncle Joe's ghost was sitting right there watching Sports Center. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. But it's okay. He said he loves you and that he misses all of us. Then he did the weirdest thing. He pulled out his eyes and put them in the evil eater. always be out here watching over us. <clears throat> I gotta go. Looking good!